introduce our next uh, gentleman from the LA area, Los Angeles, California, avid Dodger fan. Hey, LA Rams fan. Yes. Not not the Chargers, apparently, because don't don't go there. Oh, 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 in 2005, that gentleman over there, he just heard from, he was a secular Jewish 30-something Los Angeles personal injury attorney whose idea of getting up early on a Sunday was uh, getting up to the third quarter of the first televised NFL games, which could be a Rams game or could be just whatever game was on. We're not totally sure. Thirsting on the idea of playing in a band for the first time in a decade, Rob finally accepted his neighbor's request to get up at 7 in the morning, blasphemy, right, on a Sunday, in order to participate. 11 months later, the rest is history, as they say. He would have, his world had turned upside down by Jesus. Instantly, he began leading songs on his worship team, and today he now leads that same Lifehouse worship team in which he was initially invited as a long believe a non-believer to talk about full circle, ladies and gentlemen. He has been the worship leader at Lighthouse since October 2010. His music ministry website, of course, is robreed.com. In 2005, 30 something, uh, you're aging your count. Please. Now, I'm we not don't counting. Count. I just we don't need to count. You don't look at that over there. Speaking of counting, though, can I take over now? Yeah, you can. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Los Angeles, California, the director of stage, Rob Reed, everybody. Speaking of counting, though, see, he's making fun of me. A uh, little birdie told me Tuesday is Mr. Joseph Neal's birthday, and it's it's what? a milestone when it's the 40th, yeah? Yes, yeah, and he's saying to you, hey, yeah. you ready? Church. If, since we don't have a PowerPoint, you can go to robbery.com. I put the lyrics on there, partially for myself, because I may forget some tonight. I know that I have a forgiving audience there, but yeah. So this first song that I'm going to do is a two chord and a truth song, and I wrote it perfect for this season. It's uh, the Lenten season. Has anybody given up anything? You don't have to. It's in my Lutheran church tradition. I'm giving up sugar, and I'm four days in. And I'm miserable. So this is a song that I wrote and thinking about God and thinking about repentance and thinking about coming from my Jewish background, Yom Kippur. And we don't need Yom Kippur anymore because we have the ultimate lamb sacrifice in Jesus. Right, yes. and I was able to discover that as when uh, I, I read the Bible. The most dangerous thing for a Jewish person to do is actually pick up the Bible. All right. All right. It's true. Yes, it and is. once I did. God had me, and this song is a song of repentance, so if you're feeling, if you're struggling right now, go to robreed.com, I don't mind you looking at your phones, because I'll assume, this gives you an excuse to look at your phones, too, I'll assume that you're listening to the words. Where my truth 
truths are told Cause my lies are known in the presence of the Lord In the presence of the Lord In the presence of the Lord single one of us, and that low burden that you gave us, that amazingly easy yoke, which is simply that you ask us to obey you in belief, in believing on the gospel, that the word became manifest in the flesh, you, Jesus, and that you lived among us, and you taught us, and you modeled us how to live, and you took the penalty for our sin upon yourself, Jesus. And Father, you let that happen. But most importantly, you rose again from the dead, giving us victory over death because you desired to have a relationship with us, this tiny little speck on this tiny little blue dot in this amazing grand universe that you, amazing God, created. Thank you, Lord, for thinking of us, for knowing the numbers of hairs on our head. This is flood of grace.
again with a song that you guys will know. I didn't want you looking down at your phones the whole time. This one you should know. This is Holy Spirit. There's nothing worth more that would ever come to close. No thing can compare your heart and evil. Your presence I've tasted and seen Of the sweetest of love Where my heart becomes free And my shame is undone Your presence
joining. That makes it a lot easier when you guys sing along with me. It's not worship when there's one guy singing. So I'm the worship guy. And uh, yeah, as was alluded to before, uh, it was a secular Jewish guy. I was fine in my way of life. I didn't, uh, I wasn't down in the dumps. I wasn't anywhere like that. And that's uh, why my testimony isn't super exciting. Um, because God, he takes us as we are. And many of us who are introduced to Jesus for the first time were at rock bottom. He blessed me where I wasn't there in my mind, at least in life. But I saw a life as I picked up scripture for the first time. I went to Hebrew school for three years. We didn't talk about Psalm 22. We didn't talk about Isaiah 53. Because the minute you do that, you start to say, all right. Pierce for our transgressions? Who's that? Or Daniel 7. We didn't pay a lot of attention to Daniel 7. that predicted the time the Messiah was going to come. So as a Jewish person, I'm sitting there going, all right, this reads like Jesus. And then Daniel tells us that the Messiah is going to come to the time of Jesus. So either the Messiah came and we missed him, or the Messiah is Jesus. There's really no other determination for a Jewish person if they really take an honest look. And so uh, this song came out of that. And uh, this is going to teach you a little bit of Hebrew, one of the few things I remember from Hebrew school. Shema Yisrael, when you say it, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu. And then here's the fun part, because you can go, Adonai Echad. Echad. There you go, that's good. And that is Deuteronomy 6 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. He uses the word echad, which is a plural one, which was interesting for this Jewish person, too, reading about that. And so we're also going to make reference in this song, Yimre Yahu, which is just the Hebrew way of referencing the prophet Jeremiah. And Jeremiah 31 31, he gave the new covenant that Jesus instituted. So here we go. Shema Yisrael. I don't like Shema last time. Shema 
new songs coming out March 10th and it's a uh, it's a country song yeah. but I, I'm not, I'm not, it won't sound very country with just me and so you're a little my, bit country a little bit rock and roll yeah my I, I was that's one of the things that the Holy Spirit did to me is give me an appreciation for country if you asked me 20 years ago I would have been like right. write a country song I guess the Lord likes country and uh, who likes country is my guitarist but you know the, the plans were different God wanted a subdued night of worship from me tonight, so I hope it's blessing you, it's blessing me to be here. And uh, this particular song, it sounds so great with my guitars, but he's in Bakersfield. And the grapevine is closed. So our plans, we had a plan to rehearse in my house, and we're going to get that done this afternoon, and it's just me. So yeah, I'd like to introduce the band, me, a couple pedals, and that's the whole thing too. We want to make it sound so great, and my pedals aren't really working very well today, but you know, so I shouldn't have brought them, I should have just plugged in, because God says less is more, more of him, less of us, amen? Yeah, amen. Right. All right, so we're going to try this new song, see how it goes. I wrote this song with my pastor. My pastor had this bright idea, Pastor Dana Hansen, he calls me, he's, he's preaching on this book. And uh, it's got like nine chapters. He says, Rob, I got this easy thing for you to do. I go, okay. I want you to write a song a week. I'm like, what? I've written like 30 in my whole life. Nine in, in nine weeks? All right. And he goes, well, I'll help you. And so on this particular song, this country song, he just calls my voicemail. I think it was uh, Scott said something about recording stuff, thinking about task and recorders. Or how about voicemail? So it was a voicemail that came up with this song. The song's coming out on uh, March 10th, I think, on Spotify and all your uh, all your available streaming services. But it's uh, much louder, much more country than this. Since we're in Cape 
of three. Uh, I was really blessed that Mr. Uh, Joseph Neal introduced this song uh, and his, what was it, Christian Media? I don't want to say it wrong. Christian Media Spotlight. Spotlight. Yeah. Christian Media Spotlight. And uh, thank you, Joe, for your ministry and all that you do. really appreciate it. So we're going to try this. Uh, um, this is Perfect Beauty. And I may forget the lyrics. I wrote some down here, so forgive me for looking down. If uh, you're looking on your cell phones, you can... Uh, uh, sing it with me. You looked out from the cross with love beyond compare upon the throngs of the Sin, I put you there. Manifest in flesh. The word who bled and died. The thief comes to distress. But the word still brings us life. Just heard. We'll see how it goes. The Lord will uh, provide there, that's for sure. 
This next song is where the Lord provided, and we use an example of someone who doesn't get a lot of attention during Christmas time. And uh, my pastor had said it. This is uh, John the Baptist's father. And at the end of Luke 1, there's this beautiful, beautiful song that Zechariah sings, and most folks don't pay attention to it. We like Mary, did you know? We like all of those other things, and all of, even jingle bells. But poor Zechariah, who had this great message, we don't include it. And so my pastor had mentioned that, and so this song came out of that. And this song is called Tender Mercy. Praise to the Lord, the God of Israel. He's come to redeem his people. Raise the horn, salvation's come from the house of of David The rising sun will come from heaven to shine on those in darkness and in the shadow of our deaths He'll guide our feet towards peace He'll guide our feet towards peace. He forgives our sin, the tender mercy, tender mercy of God. He forgives our sin, the tender mercy, tender mercy, tender mercy. So I've got, uh, actually, I just got one more, Mike, I think. And, but then we've got uh, Mr. Erickson who's going to surprise us. He's got one. The Lord has given him a little bit of extra voice, and we're all appreciative because he's going to come in and liven it up before we get three days in the grave, yeah? Uh, you guys, uh, I, I, it's tough to open for you guys because uh, get ready for some rocking. Man. I, guys. I was weaned on that. The first album, I'm afraid, it's hard to say that in church, but it's true. Uh, my mom was very upset with me, but I, one of the first albums I ever bought was uh, Black Sabbath. And, uh, there's, a little, there's a little bit of that in there, so I, I, I love it, so thank you so much. So this, this last song is my testimony song, 
And it's, uh, it's basically the idea that God made me a new creation. And uh, when I, once I believed, and there was nothing that he asked from me, he just wanted me to believe. He wanted me to repent, but that repent metanoia, we know, Pastor Lance will tell you, the Greek word is really essentially meta, like higher, and noia is like knowledge, to so think higher, amen, think higher, think deeper, change your mind. Switch around 180. I don't know 360 because you go 360, you're back to the way of the world. Because people always say that. We go, man, God gave me, He made me a 360 turn. No, that's bad. 180. Let me go half. All right, Love this that. is my song. Uh, new life. I uh, just made a new creation. The heavens praise your wonders, Lord. Pastor Lance offers this place, and we really appreciate it. So if you drop something, you have an offering bucket somewhere? Uh, no. or, 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 but we do have a 50-50 raffle coming, right? Sure, we do. Thank you tell me, I'll trust you. You buy into the 50-50 raffle, start a new life CD is yours. Or, you know, save it for a Christmas gift for someone else, and then you don't tell them where you got it. All right. Thank you.